Well, hello, this is Rochelle, and thank you for joining me here at the Creative Retreat YouTube channel. Today, I have decided to not edit out most of my video to keep it to just the art, but to really just share a little bit of my testimony with you as I read and so resonated with this devotional written by Rebecca Fairs. Um, it really was, I was just gobsmacked. Um, even though I'd printed it out and unboxed it, I kind of had not read it. And so when I did sit down to read this and create today, um, not only was it on my very favorite verse, um, it's actually the verse that I have painted on my back wall in the shop and um, also in pretty much every other place. It really is my favorite verse because the Lord spoke to me so through this verse in so many places. And so as someone who suffers from chronic illness, uh, I suffer from, or I am battling, I am fighting. Uh, it is not mine. I don't have it. <laughs> but I uh, have been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, which is an autoimmune disease and has very debilitating moments. Um, of which this last month really has been one and so if you have been over on my channel at all uh, you would see that not only did I not create a single video <laughs> for the month of May I really only did create for a creative retreat but also had a lot of like events on and it really took a toll on my body and I have felt absolutely horrible so in a time such as that, we often tend to kind of seek our refuge and our safe place in uh, comfort food or, you know, people who kind of take care of us. But if you're a chronic illness sufferer, there really isn't someone who wants to take care of you for extended times as um, she writes here actually and it says and no one really wants to hear about it because it's all just too vaguely sad and it's absolutely true and when I read about the unfortunate habits of sickness which are weariness and anxiety and sorrow which leads to disrupted plans strained relationships and general heartbreak I had to take a moment because yes absolutely and so you kind of get to this place where you just feel dreadful <laughs> and you feel sorry for yourself and all of that things, those things. I'm using the Lovebird watercolors that I used in my unboxing um, for this print, these printables. Um, I love these watercolors. They are a pastel shade and you can use any watercolors. It ended up being in the very, very background anyways. Uh, but I needed the time to just kind of reflect on where I was and get my mojo back and get back into creating and back into um, kind of feeling all right. And today just wasn't the day of feeling all right, um, which is why I decided to immediately kind of record this voiceover. I didn't want to leave it too long. I didn't want to edit it out. I just wanted to share a little bit of the process with you. Um, and I think before I even do that, let me read this verse to you. It's in 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9, and it says, um, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And it speaks of Paul having gone through these moments with a thorn in his flesh. He never speaks of what that thorn was. Many scholars believe it is a physical ailment. He never speaks of being healed of it. Uh, and so having been living with a disease such as rheumatoid arthritis, for me, it's been my most frequent kind of, uh, how can I say, advice from Christians would be to have I prayed, have I uh, looked into my genealogy? Have I broken curses? Have I forgiven? Have I? And you know, it's it's a hard thing to go through. And it's something that I don't often talk about because it really is just, like she says, that vaguely sad over and over again. You can only tell the story so many times and then 
having people offer advice, which they so lovingly do um, in kind of telling you to use a copper bracelet or <laughs> drink more vitamins or boost your immune system, which is the very thing someone with an autoimmune disease does not want to do because it is their immune system that is attacking them. So really just getting into this word and like I said, Paul having this physical ailment as is believed. Um, I used my Zion sticker maker to just pick up some of these words that I printed on uh, trace paper as well so that I could use them in um, and just kind of melt in there. And I used alpha stickers from previous collections or previous kits of uh, creative retreat kits. I just hoarded so much, but I decided that I needed to use it. And so really, uh, like I said, getting into this word of this thorn in uh, Paul's flesh and never speaks of being healed, never speaks of what it was, never mentions it again. Um, and I realized that it really wasn't a thing between him and people. It was a thing between him and the Lord. And as uh, <laughs> he says, he calls it a messenger of Satan. I uh, totally understand what you mean by that, Paul. And so <laughs> I really wanted to just come on here and today be real. I believe that there is power in being real with other people. It is very difficult for me to understand someone who never experiences any hardships um, and it uh, it's very hard for me to relate to someone who is forever happy uh, and joy is not happiness or happiness isn't joy um, there's a difference and I think the most important part of today of of going through this is not to kind of give glory to the enemy it is not God that wants us to be sick God doesn't give us disease uh, sometimes he allows things and those things are kind of allowed to show like he says here that in uh, our weakness his power is made perfect <laughs> and I had such a giggle when I messed up on the word perfect because it just shows that it really isn't in me that the weakness can be or the power can be perfected in my weakness it really is a totally and absolutely god thing that uh, happens when he perfects his power in our weakness uh, his grace is sufficient for you to face whatever it is that you are facing today it may not always be the happy day there may be down days and sad days and difficult days and sick days and anxiety days and it might be when you feel most alone but I want to encourage you that it really is in those moments of weakness where his power is made perfect and he actually says Paul speaks further down in verse uh, 9 and 10 he says therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me that is why for christ's sake i delight in weaknesses in insults in hardships in persecutions and in difficulties for when i am weak then i am strong i used some of the other printables that i printed on normal paper and then this washi i just absolutely love and i had to use it and I so wanted to repeat it somewhere, but there wasn't space. And this whole kind of layout is just everything imperfect. And <laughs> I think it's exactly like I said, um, the imperfectness of my layout and the art really is just a reflection of how his word is perfect, how his timing is perfect, how he has made everything perfect in his time. And so today, if you're feeling weak, Take heart. In your weakness, he is strong. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.